Our chilly mornings are just one indication that winter is on its way. And when it comes, a lot of kids here in the tri-states won't be prepared to face the cold. Every year, there are a number of students whose families just can't afford to get a coat for their kids. WGEM's Brenda Martins is live tonight at the Quincy Walmart with more on the need in our community and what you can do to help. Brenda. Leslie, we're here tonight at the Quincy Walmart collecting coats for kids who wouldn't otherwise have a winter coat. That's something schools say is becoming increasingly common. Schools say not having a winter coat is a serious problem since many students don't realize how cold their bodies get during recess without a coat. Teachers try to make sure every student has a coat, but say sometimes parents aren't able to afford a coat that's warm enough for the winter months. So. You know, parents are doing the best they can, but maybe that's an issue. Maybe it's a, um, a light jacket, but the kids really need something a little heavier. Many schools keep coats on hand in case a student doesn't have one, but oftentimes there's not enough coats for every child in need. With your help, we can donate enough coats that every student in the Tri State will have a winter coat this month or this uh, during the upcoming months. WGM's meteorologist Brian Inman will have more on the Coats for Kids campaign and a full check of your forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Reporting live in Quincy, Brenda Martins, WGM News. And now, WGEM Storm Track Weather on the Tri State's News Leader with meteorologist Brian Inman. Well, we started the Coats for Kids drive, and uh, you wouldn't know it by today. Today's temperature is so pleasant, you don't really need a coat. But we are out at the Walmart at Quincy, starting uh, kicking off the Coats for Kids drive. They've had these out here for a little while. With me right now, Jill DG. She's with uh, Altrusa. And tell us what exactly we're doing out here and why we're doing it. The reason we're doing this, Brian, is this is our 16th annual Coat for Kids Drive. We actually accept coats for all ages up through adults, as 4 or 5X, that's fine too. This is to keep our community warm. We have winter months coming up. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to get colder than it is today. And uh, we want to be able to keep our community warm from infants all the way up to any needy adult. And we've been hearing that the need is great and uh, teachers and uh, other social workers saying we need more coats. Yes. Last year we did collect about 2,200 coats, 1,600 of those which we did give away uh, through the day of the distribution. And uh, the rest of those um, actually went through Salvation Army for some people that receive those in other countries all so right. most all those coats actually did be given away and we need your help this year we're just starting off had a lady drop these off today she had a friend of hers crochet these she took a crochet clutch she said you know what i'm going to put some of these so she put about eight of these together this is terry dunham from pittsfield uh, made these so we want to thank her coats for kids drive kicks off tonight we need your coats in the bin so please come out and fill up the bin and we'll be here through the six o'clock news to get things rolling back to you guys and just a reminder if you aren't in quincy you can still drop them off at other areas Walmart in the tri-state so please give what you can. All right gang we are back live at the Walmart in Quincy. Why are we here? We're starting the drive for the Coats for Kids drive sponsored by Altrusa WGEM and Reliable Pest Solutions. Jill DG with Altrusa. Tell us why the need for the coats is so great this year. We're looking for a very large need again this year Brian for our 16th annual coat drive. Uh, we are looking for cold weather again. I'm sure you can attest to that. And uh, we know that the need is great with the economy. So we want to provide as many new coats, gently used coats as possible for the children of our community up through adults. All right. We've also got hats and gloves and scarves in there. Also, Gary Allen is with Reliable Pest Solutions. He's one of the co-sponsors this year. Gary, where can folks drop their coats off? Oh, we've got plenty of locations. we got both the uh, Quincy and the Hannibal Walmart. we got uh, John Wood, uh, Blessing Hospital, Mercantile Bank, CVS. There's a lot of boxes out there that need to be filled. The, the need is there. Why is Reliable uh, taking this on as something they want to be uh, a part of? Well, this is our third year in sponsoring this, and we just want to support the kids. I mean, I think everybody knows that there's needs out there for children. Uh, this morning was cold enough to have a jacket on waiting for the bus, so we want to make sure we get those jackets for them. All right, we want to thank these folks. We want to thank you for coming out and donating your coats to the Coats for Kids Drive. Let's take a look at the forecast across the Tri-State area. Let's look at the forecast live from Walmart for the Coats for Kids Drive. Back to you guys. All right, thanks so much, Brian. And the bin filling up rapidly. Yes.
We are better together tonight because hundreds of area kids will stay warmer this winter thanks to your donations to the Coats for Kids campaign. An employee for Liable Pest Solutions stopped by area drop-off sites this morning and picked up the last donations. At least 300 coats were collected from Quincy's Walmart alone. The coats will now be cleaned before getting handed out to tri-state families on October 29th. Good evening, I'm Caitlin Rowney. It's a chilly night tonight, but thanks to your generosity, many tri-state families now have coats to keep them warm. Today, volunteers handed out hundreds of winter coats, hats, and gloves to area families, all of which was donated through WGEM's Coats for Kids campaign. WGEM's Chris Pavlish reports. And it's purple. You want it purple. With winter just around the corner, there's one thing that's for sure. When the temperatures fall, the cost of staying warm rises. You figure for three people, you're going to spend $150 at least, if or around that. Is that me? <laughs> but for Greg Dirk's family and hundreds of people in the area, winter clothing is one cost that they won't have to worry about. More than 1,200 coats were donated this year, and now they're in the hands of people who need them the most. We uh, have a lot of need in our community. This is one small way of being able to provide people with a coat, warm clothing for the winter that then hopefully they can use those funds for their other needs. In the first hour alone, volunteers helped more than 100 families. Volunteers say while there's always a need for winter clothing, when economic times are tough, the community always comes through. Each year we question whether we'll have the donations as we have in the past and our wonderful community has come through every year. And despite the long lines and the hundreds of people waiting their turn to pick a coat, because of the generosity of the community, no one left empty handed. It was great. It looks like there's plenty and there's going to be plenty left over, so it's a big, big, big help. Chris Pavlish, WGEM News, Quincy. Now, if you couldn't make it to today's Coats for Kids distribution but need winter clothing, volunteers will be donating whatever's left over to the Salvation Army. The forecast for this winter calls for no child to be cold. WGEM Reliable Pest Solutions and Altrusa International want you to help us during our Coats for Kids drive. Coats for Kids is a program that collects children's winter coats and distributes them to families in the tri-state area. Just drop off your new or gently used winter coats, gloves, and hats of all sizes. You can rely on Reliable to collect them. With your help, we can be better together. Please give the Coats for Kids. Thanks to the generosity of the community, many tri-state families will keep plenty warm this winter. More than 1,200 coats were collected this year for the Coats for Kids campaign. Thanks to the volunteers of Altrusa and Reliable Pest Solutions for their continued support of this campaign. WGEM and you, better together.